Just recently, we had a discussion at our local Center for Inquiry discussing their involvement in Blasphemy Day. I thought the day was just another internet holiday like Talk Like a Pirate Day that was just for fun. It turns out that the Center for Inquiry, a national organization designed to promote science and free thought, participated in the event and even had games on their site to try and be as blasphemous as possible. Fortunately, our center did not participate other than a discussion on blasphemy in general, but because of the head organization's actions, we received a scathing review in the paper and were blacklisted by the Catholic Church. Now don't be confused, I love blasphemy. As an atheist, I do it all the time. However, had I, as a Christian, had my views attacked by someone in very harsh and pointless ways, I would have clung to my religion, believing myself to be persecuted for God, making the Bible even more true to me. It was the honest, open, and civil debates and discussions that led to my deconversion. Most of us are not taught reason and logic. Recitation and memorization of arguments to defend the cause, as well as confirmation bias to everything proving God, are the religious versions of critical thinking and scientific inquiry. In church, people convert to Jesus in moments of emotion. They will come up to the altar in tears and beg for their sins, believing themselves to be worthless, because a song or the experience of being in a group like that made them feel spiritual. This does not happen when it comes to atheism, unless you just happen to be really angry at God. Atheism requires years of learning how to think about the world around you, and having each one of your multifaceted errors shot down, as well as the time to accept that that part of your belief was an error. No one converts to atheism overnight. It is a long process that requires open discussion, education, and understanding. This is why the Center for Inquiry should stay religion neutral, as we have had Jews, Quakers, Unitarians, and sometimes conflicted and curious Christians, as well as deists, come to our center to hear our discussions. If we insult and attack them directly, they will never come back, and possibly never learn reason and intellect. But, if we are open to thinking and discussion, they may come back and be eager to gain new knowledge. Vilification works in religion because it's based on emotion and prejudice, just like Fox News and the Republican Party. They rely on blind faith and the us versus them mentality. Science, skepticism, and atheism requires thought, reason, and education if done right, and therefore vilification and insulting doesn't really work. Throughout history, blasphemy meant questioning what the church said or believing or saying something contrary to the Bible. Back in those days, blasphemy pretty much just meant free speech, as free speech gives you the right to offend others with what you think and to be offended by what others think. Free speech works like natural selection, where memes compete and fight, and only the more beneficial memes survive. In nations where there is no free speech, artificial selection prevents memes from spreading, and they become stagnant and weak, but strongly held and believed. This is beneficial in a dictatorship because complacency is the meme that is selected for and any non-complicent meme carriers are killed. The current definition of blasphemy, however, has changed over time, and that is now perceived to mean blatantly insulting and offensive to religion, mostly because a lot of Christians can't deal with free speech and do not understand how it protects their rights to think what they want. Therefore, they vilify blasphemy as persecution, However, many atheists and non-believers have no interest in educating and instead wish to make themselves feel better than others by heckling and insulting people who think differently than they do. Sadly, this creates the stereotype of the angry and militant atheists, further allowing them to vilify us. Jefferson said, Ridicule is the only weapon which can be used against unintelligible propositions. Ideas must be distinct before reason can act upon them. No man has ever had a distinct idea of the Trinity. It is the mere abracadabra of the Montebanks calling themselves the priests of Jesus. Many atheists hinge their ridicule on this and other quotes, and for people like Ray Comfort and Kent Hovind, who are willfully ignorant and spreading lies because of it, bring on the ridicule. However, most people are reasonable and just confused about the world around them and cling to beliefs for emotional reasons. Spreading atheism requires spreading the ability to reason instead of how to blindly cling with emotion. 
Blasphemy should be used as a scalpel to accurately attack certain aspects of a belief as a wake-up call instead of a buckshot approach used by a lot of angry atheists. If blasphemy just meant contradicting free speech, or if Blasphemy Day had just been called Free Speech Day, I would have been all for the Center for Inquiry participating in the day. Almost all discoveries up until the last century were made in spite of religion or the current scientific dogma. Blasphemy mixed with an equal amount of humility leads to enlightenment. Blasphemy by itself leads to blind arrogance, while humility by itself leads to mindless pacifism, or even violence if your religion tells you that killing someone is being humble before God. Only when these two are in balance will true understanding come about.